In the last video, we talked about how old brain is designed to trigger us into the fight, flight, freeze reaction. That the slightest hint of a threat, an old brain is immediately onto it. New brain goes offline and we instantly react physically, emotionally and with our behaviour to survive that threat in front of us. Now we know that since the dawn of time, this ancient survival reaction is the only reason our species lasted long enough to reproduce us living here on this planet today. But it gives us a problem. It seems to get triggered not only when we're in dangerous situations. In work, school, home, B&Q are all physically unthreatening situations but are still places where we might be finding ourselves in a state of fight, flight, freeze. So why is this? Imagine the world of our earliest ancestors for a minute. What kept them alive? It wasn't simply that they automatically flew into this survival reaction. What has actually kept us safe is this, our cave. If you're going to flee from something, there has to be somewhere to run away to. But running back to an empty cave wouldn't keep us alive. It's the fact that back at the cave was our tribe. All the people were there and working together to protect and look after each other. That's what gives us that collective chance to outthink and outmaneuver all the dangers that the world holds. So it's actually only being part of a tribe that human beings exist at all. Now, the problem with tribes is that you might have noticed it's not enough that they just exist around us. Since our earliest days and really ever since, our place in the tribe will determine how much protection they actually give us. Being on the edge of the tribe is a vulnerable place to be. Being high up in the tribe or head of the tribe means the more protection around you and the safer that you'll feel. So our tribe has to rate us, respect us, hold us in their mind and not forget about us when we're away from the cave. We have to be important to the tribe and feel that we are contributing something that the tribe values us for. Tick all those boxes, then you're safe and you'll feel nice and secure. Get rejected, pushed to the side, taken for granted, just not valued or if the tribe is unreliable and inconsistent and unpredictable, then a human being is in trouble and we'll feel very insecure. Probably the most insecure thing you can do to a human being is make them part of a tribe which is chaotic and where they feel unappreciated. Today, our need to belong to a tribe that makes us feel safe and secure is as strong inside us as it was for the very first human beings. And every single human being that has lived in the countless generations between then and now.